Hey guys, it's Sam, and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I am going to be talking about the herbs and sort of dry things that I feed my dwarf hamster and gets me. Um, this is partly inspired by Victoria Rachel's video. Um, she did a video on what herbs and flowers are safe for hamsters and I was inspired to share what I use um, for my hamster with you guys. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the biggest thing I have and that is the Rosewood Naturals Harvest Festival. So I picked this up from Peds at Home and it just sort of got, um, it's got like proper dill. So it's like in the bowl and then your hamster will like um, break it open and then there's little brown seeds inside that are the dill seeds. Um, I have shown this on my channel once before I think um, and I was a bit controversial on using it but since then I have done research on it and I also know that Macil Macilla, I don't really know how to um, spit and say her name so I'm sorry about that but um, um, she runs a shop called Tiny Hamster Paws and she recently bought this for her hamsters and she discussed how it was perfectly fine so then i stepped forward and decided that i was actually going to use it and um, so this was quite pricey i think it was at four pounds or 3.99 um but also in this you get um peppermint um so you get um, an assortment of selected herbs grasses and other edible plants carefully harvested sorted um, sorted and dried. Your rabbits, guinea pigs and chinchillas will appreciate this. Um, so this is by Rosewood. Um, the only thing that I do, I'm not really keen on this, is that um, there's holes in the bag. So sometimes when the um, little um, bits fall down from the um, seeds and things, they kind of collect at the bottom and then fall out the holes, which as I've already but it's made a mess all over my floor. Um, so this is probably the only thing that's bad about this. But apart from that, um, I really do enjoy this and it does smell really good. And Gizmo definitely enjoys little dill bits and things to nibble on. So the next thing I have are um, Millet. So I just also get these from Pets at Home. They're super cheap and... Um, they do come in a big long sprig type thing, but I just chop them up into little pieces that I will um, feed my dwarf hamster. Just because I didn't actually know, but when I went to buy some more of these um, at Pets at Home, the lady at the counter, she said that she had a dwarf hamster. And I didn't actually know, but these actually are quite fatty and they actually make your hamster quite fat and gain some weight. So just be careful when you are feeding these. And yeah, so that's the thing that I learned yesterday. <laughs> um, when I went to Pets at Home yesterday, also I picked up this new thing they have. So it's called the Dried Nibbles and they have a new range of it. Um, I just noticed it because they, they did like, they sort of copy it off the Rosewood thing um, as well. So I have a couple of the other treats, but I don't use them my dwarf hamster because they do have quite a high level of sugar and salts in them so this um is just the wild forage mix and this one has red corn flowers and sunflower petals um man i'm sorry <laughs> i know it's in mango mango is my past hamster if you were wondering gizmo is um not too keen on the sunflower petals but he will gladly eat the actual flower part of the red corn flowers so i will definitely be buying the rest of these um because i feel like you know they're obviously also really healthy for them and they do provide natural foraging um the last thing i have is this sweet green flower salad by nature's own this doesn't really have a description, but I actually picked this up from The Range. And I've had this for quite a while now. I had it when I first got mango. So I got mango in September. So I've had this a while. 
um, that's why it's almost all gone. It was filled up to the top. Um, this is probably my favourite um because it simply gives you such a range of flowers and things and obviously i have picked out most of the flowers to give to my hamsters as like treats and things but this was really amazing when i first got it and i like to sprinkle this around the cage maybe once a week or twice a week depending on how fast it goes but gizmo really does enjoy foraging for this this is definitely what he gets excited for when i pour it in the cage So along with this mini haul, I also have a, an update on the IKEA D12. So if you didn't remember or didn't watch my last video, um, I was talking about my um, the cage that I have now, which is the extra extra large Pizza Home cage. Um, this cage isn't really extra extra large, it's probably only an extra small in the hamster community. So I have been thinking about upgrading to an IKEA Detolf because I know it's really good value and lots of people use it. It's good for filming and it has a lot of space so that your hamster can really be that, have that natural behaviour and enjoy it. So I was chatting to my mum about this and she said that I would not be able to put it anywhere downstairs because she doesn't really want a massive display cabinet lying around her house. So this gives me the only option to put it in my room. Now I wouldn't exactly say my room was small but then I wouldn't exactly say my room was large and the only place that actually has enough space to put it would be here by my bay window. This is usually where I like to film, I like to film here or I like to sit the phone on there and film like that um, because this is obviously where the most light is. The only problem that I had about this was the amount of space that I was going to take up of my room and also the wheel because if you didn't know my hamster is a big runner and he will run and run and run and run on his wheel all night and um, um, even though I do have a comfort wheel by Katie it is still really loud so I think I might need to take it into account to ordering a silent spinner or I have this wheel which actually came with the cage but I was a bit controversial about using it just because I feel it's too small and obviously with um own branded cages they don't really tell you the size of the wheels but I don't think this is big enough and I would much rather use my KT wheel. So I have marked out the height and the width of the IKEA detail for where I'm going to put it and I think I shall show you guys to see what you think. So if I just move this stuff out of the way so you can actually see. So this is my radiator here. Um, so this is the black line on how long it would be. So from this side of the wall to over there is how long it would be so this is gonna take up just about my whole bay window um, and from the from the radiator outwards it is going to come out about this much so it's only really going to leave me this much space to walk around which is not really ideal but then again I want to give my hamsters the best um, thing they can have so I think I am going to get the IKEA Detolf I am not exactly sure on when just because um, obviously um, the price of it even though it's a good value it's still quite a lot considering I don't earn pocket money I don't work I don't exactly get very much money the only money I get is at Christmas and at my birthday so my birthday is in June, as I did mention, um, which is when I was supposed to be getting this. But my parents don't really agree with it. So I think I'm going to actually end up buying this myself. I also want to mention that somebody on my last video commented um, about how the plastic hides I was using weren't safe. Um, now, I'm not really sure about this because um, that's the reason I didn't really comment on your post if you're watching this because I wasn't really sure what to believe because I know um, 
Erin's hamsters or Erin's animals. Um, she does. Um, she had the, um, Katie Egloo from her vial vet haul, and she was using that in her cage. So I just assumed that she's like a big pet person and she has owned a lot of hamsters and had a lot of experience in hamsters that you know she would know this was okay but well as the um house the little silver house that actually comes with the um cage I'm not quite sure about that because I haven't actually seen anybody um, like I subscribe to use that because obviously they live in the US and I live in the UK so I will try to look into that and thanks for raising my awareness on that and also another person that commented um, I really want to thank you for commenting Um, I was like having a chat <laughs> um, but yeah I will definitely look into this and hopefully fingers crossed I will get this Ikea detox soon for my little hamster because I know he deserves it. So anyways, that's all for this video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, like it and subscribe down below for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!